Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome to Hearts Farm 4. As today, we're going to be starting a new campaign as Germany. Uh, so I selected this country for our next campaign based on that last patron vote where the Dutch were the winner. Uh, we did that campaign, and the Germans were the second place. So instead of having another vote, I just decided we'll go with the, the second place uh, patron selection. And, and the main reason for that is because I, I just wanted to play as Germany really bad uh, ever since uh, the Man the Guns expansion came out. I've been wanting to try a raider submarine based, uh, you know, naval uh, campaign just to see if it's a viable strategy or not. Uh, you know, submarines have had some, some massive adjustments made to them uh, in the, uh, the latest patch as well. You know, the one that came after the Man the Guns patch. And uh, I, I just want to see if they are effective against the British. Is it is it possible uh, not to win the naval game, of course, but is it possible to use submarines to really cut off the British from supply, from oil. Uh, I'm interested to see if, if, if it's a viable strategy. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing in this campaign. Uh, it's, uh, I should say, uh, before we start here, uh, for those of you coming in late, you know, a year or so from now, uh, we are playing on the 1.6.2 patch with the Man the Guns expansion. Uh, so let's go ahead and start the new game. This is gonna be a traditional Germany campaign for us at least. We are gonna be playing as the fascist. However, we're going to be changing up the AI. Uh, we're going to be making some adjustments to them because uh, I, I want a little bit different campaign. Uh, so let's go ahead and go down to the uh, AI behavior here. Uh, overall, I think this should result in it being a more challenging campaign. And initially, you may not think so, but hear me out here. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is going to be three adjustments to the national focuses of the AI. Uh, first of all, Japan is going to be going democratic. Italy is going to go down the alternate fascist route and then the United States is going to be going fascist. Now, <laughs> hear me out, as I said. Uh, so this is the only adjustments we're gonna be making, just these three. Let's go ahead and, uh, we're also gonna change up these guys here. We'll do that before I start talking about the campaign here. Oops, we don't wanna tick ourselves up. We're gonna tick up all the AI powers with the exception of our ally. Uh, we'll tick them up by one, we'll do everybody else by two, and that's just so they perform somewhat decently against you know these other uh, AI countries. And that looks pretty good, and that's how we're going to leave it. So, some of you may be saying, how is this going to be a more challenging campaign if you just took the most powerful major country in the game, America, and put them into your faction? Uh, or hopefully they come into our faction. That's the idea anyway. Well, yes, the United States is, in the hands of a player, the most powerful country in the game. But in the hands of the AI, I think the last several campaigns that we've played has shown that the United States is absolutely garbage in the hands of the AI. They're not good, uh, not even in the slightest. Uh, and if they have to fight other naval powers, uh, which they typically do against Japan, of course, but they, they rarely do in the Atlantic when they do the more traditional route. Uh, but if they have to do it in the Atlantic, it's even worse for them. If they're against the British, essentially they have massive issues because the American AI like pumps divisions into the sea and the majority of their troops get sunk in the sea. They take insane casualties. We're talking about millions of losses in the sea, uh, they just, it's just they just don't know how to. The AI doesn't know how to handle it. Uh, doesn't know how to handle uh, sending troops this far away from what I've seen. Uh, but particularly a uh, problem for the Americans uh, here in the Atlantic. Uh, so uh, they're not going to be good guys. They're going to be one of the worst countries in the game with this route. Uh, in addition to that, they're not going to help out anytime soon. Uh, they're going to uh, probably not join for a while because remember they, if they go fascist they have to have the civil war. So the civil war is already going to really weaken them in a time when they would normally be building up they're going to be fighting themselves. Uh, so that's really going to weaken them and then you know they won't be able to join the conflict more than likely unless focus has pulled them in or something like that. Uh, they more than likely won't be joining until I don't know 1942, 1943 I guess it really depends on how long it takes for them to wrap up uh, the Civil War, you know, a player can do it fairly quickly, but I assume the AI is going to have a lot of uh, difficulty with it, especially if we can't send them volunteers because we're already at war, which may be a possibility. So I, I, I wouldn't be shocked if the United States doesn't even join our faction uh, because they lose the Civil War or something else happens. Uh, but I, I think that this is going to result in a much more challenging campaign because think about it. The Italians are going down their own route. Uh, that means they're going to get Spain in their faction. Spain traditionally joins our faction, uh, unless you have them on the historical AI focuses. Uh, they tr traditionally join uh, the Axis. So they're going to be joining the Italian faction. Bulgaria is another one who traditionally joins the German faction. They're going to be joining the Italian faction as well. Uh, so we lose three countries here in Europe, obviously. You know, the Italians are the only major, but that's still, that's still relevant. In addition to that, we've taken the Japanese and made them go democratic. So that's another uh, country that will not be assisting us in the conflict. In fact, they'll be going to war with the Americans. So 
Uh, well, I mean, we assume they would be. Uh, I guess we can't really say, uh, but I would assume they probably would go to war with the Americans. So I'm doing this for, for three reasons, guys. Uh, so the first one is that we'll have a more challenging campaign here in Europe. Uh, we're going to have to, you know, obviously fight the Italians when we normally wouldn't have to. So that'll uh, increase the challenge in Europe. Uh, and, and I like fighting in Europe. Uh, number two, I'm planning on attacking the Dutch relatively early, probably one of the first things we do, uh, so that we can get control of the Dutch East Indies and all the beautiful resources that are there. Uh, and typically, I, I can you know take out the the British colonies here pretty easy. Uh, as Germany, if we send you know just even a few divisions over here, uh, we typically do pretty well over here. So. Over here in Asia, we're not going to have any real conflict. I mean, the Americans wouldn't probably wouldn't get involved if, if they were against us, I mean, uh, for a while. Uh, so we wouldn't really have any real challenge over here in Asia. But if Japan is against us, which they very well might be, uh, if we have control of the Dutch East Indies, uh, I think that that would be a uh, pretty uh, interesting development here, having to fight Japan in Asia. So we'd have to fight in both theaters. Uh, and then the third reason... As frankly as I, I just don't feel like uh, invading the United States. Uh, I, I've already done it in, in, in many, many campaigns. I don't know how many times I've invaded the United States, so it's not about not being able to do it. It's not even about it being challenging because it's really not actually challenging. Uh, usually America's pretty easy to, to defeat. Uh, yeah, they're large, so it takes a little while, and yeah, they got some difficult terrain, but for the most part, they're pretty easy to defeat. I don't think I've ever had a real challenge uh, trying to defeat them. It's just tedious. You know, it's tedious getting your troops across the sea. You got to find a place to invade from. Sometimes you got to invade like multiple areas or drop paratroopers. It's just a tedious thing and I don't really like doing it. Uh, so we, we did it in the last, I want to say we did it in the last two German campaigns I played. So I'm just like, let's do something different in Germany. Let's not invade the United States, uh, which you have to, you always have to invade them, you know, to, in order to finish the campaign. So I, I would just prefer to not have to do that. Uh, so that's the, that's the other reason. Uh, and I think this should result in a much more challenging campaign. Uh, you know, trading, you know, for the Americans, we're, we're trading Spain, Italy, Bulgaria, and Japan for weak-ass AI America. I, I think it'll still be a challenging campaign. Uh, in addition to that, uh, some people may be worried about this affecting our naval game, since in order to do a more raider-based naval game, we would have to, you know, not have naval supremacy. We won't have naval supremacy, guys. The United States, we've already seen, has extreme difficulty when it comes to fighting on both sides, on um, both oceans here. And they're going to have to fight the British, French, Spanish, Italian, Soviet, and Japanese navies. They're, they're not going to win in the seas unless we, you know, our naval bombers are extremely effective, which typically they are. Maybe I'll be able to sink the Allied fleet with my naval bombers and, and do some serious damage. And in the end, we might end up controlling the seas. But for much of, much of the game, I don't I don't think we will. Uh, so I think it won't affect this whole raider based uh, tactic here. If you guys need a, a lore reason why I came up with one. Uh, so so we're in this this uh, timeline. Uh, Mussolini, the leader of Italy, has uh, insulted uh, Hitler's kitty cat, his kitten. Uh, he insulted him. Uh, and I guess we can give the kitten a name. I didn't think of one. Uh, we'll call him... We'll call him Pussy Pouncer. Uh, so, uh, Mussolini has insulted Pussy Pouncer, and so we're at odds now. And so that's the reason why Germany and Italy are not getting along. Now, technically, you don't really need a lower reason, because Italy was opposed to to Germany and, and, and uh, uh, Hitler for uh, historically for a while. And it wasn't until he realized the Allies weren't going to oppose him that he, he started moving towards their camp a bit more. Uh, so really, you don't need a lower reason, but I thought it'd be fun to have a kitten in the story. So yeah, let's go and get started without further ado, guys. Talked enough. I did want to explain uh, my reasoning here, though, why uh, I wanted to change this up and, and why we're going to have this different campaign. Uh, so as you can see, we have the uh, major nation bus, so we're not going to be changing up the difficulty down here. Uh, I prefer you know making it more difficult through there rather than through this because this doesn't make it more difficult. It just makes everything take longer. I do explain that in every campaign I do because every single time I don't, somebody brings it up. Uh, why aren't you playing on Veteran Elite? Uh, if you want to see a more challenge, you know, with the more the higher difficulties anyways, uh, I did a Soviet Union elite one a while back. Uh, so you should check that out. Uh, but yeah, it just makes everything take longer. I don't find it more challenging. It's just taking everything that you do in the game and, and making me wait longer to do it. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. Uh, I, like I said, I'm going to try and declare war on the Dutch fairly early here. We do need political power before we're going to be able to do that, so we won't be able to do that right away. Uh, let's go ahead and move all of our ships over here right now. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and set up the troops uh, for that. 
in fact, we might actually take a few. Well, let's go ahead and do this first. One thing at a time, guys. Uh, no, I don't want the ships. Damn it. I want the troops, man. All right, so let's go ahead and take all of our troops. Put them on to. Put them into an army. And put them on to. My bad. Put them onto that front. And. There we go. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and give them a planning bonus as well. And then we're going to go ahead and assign commanders. Uh, let's do. You know what? Let's do Eric von Meinstein uh, because he has that engineering bonus, which I think could be pretty damn useful uh, here against the Dutch. So yeah, we'll assign him. Uh, he does have the ability to get another trait. Let's go with, you know what, I think we are gonna go with Fortress but Buster, just in case the, the Dutch, it's gonna be a while, I think. Oh, we don't have any command power, we're not doing anything. Uh, it's gonna be a while before uh, we're gonna be able to declare war on them, so they might have the chance to build up through those national focuses, build up a bit of fortification, so yeah, I think that might be uh, useful. Uh, and then let's go and take some of these tanks here. We're just gonna take, uh, you know, we'll just take one tank and one infantry, and then we're gonna put them into their own little separate army here uh, for uh, if we're able to, if the Spanish war kicks off before uh, the war here, which I would assume it would. Uh, we won't sign a commander just yet, we'll wait just in case it doesn't. Uh, and then how many troops does that leave? At least 24 exactly. All right, awesome. We'll go ahead and have them uh, do the thing there. Uh, these guys can just stay here for right now. Put them over there. We won't even give them a planning bonus or anything like that. I'm not really worried about it. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and get all our stuff selected. I guess we'll do national focuses first. We're gonna go ahead and go with the Rhineland, of course, get that political power uh, and uh, take care of that. Uh, let's get our research slots selected. Uh, we'll do mechanical engineering, basic machine tools. I guess we'll go ahead and do construction as well, though we do get some research bonuses for industry uh, early on here as Germany. It's fine. I'm not going to wait. And yeah, we'll go ahead and get the support weapons as well. All right, let's go ahead and do the civilian factories. Uh, we're just going to do, you know, we're just going to build more civilian factories. I, I want to say we don't have many. Yeah, we don't really have much for building right now. So probably be a good idea to get some civilian factories. We'll do them over here uh, in the 70 and 80% zones right there. We'll save this area for military factories, I suppose. And you know, we'll do one more right there. All right, excellent. Uh, that should keep them busy for a while. Let's take a look at our military factories. I'm probably gonna have to pull from these a bit. What do we have assigned here? It's been a little while since I played as Germany. I'm seeing that we're lacking one thing. Uh, we are lacking the naval bombers. Let's go ahead and move them up here. And then yeah, let's just go ahead and assign a bit more to the support equipment, the towed artillery. Uh, yeah, light tanks, we're gonna want a lot more of those and planes of course all right so it looks pretty good for right now and as far as the ships go yeah we're gonna need to get all these guys i don't even want to set them all up actually yeah there's too many of them uh, so i don't care where they deploy uh, they get to play anywhere uh, it doesn't matter to me now we can't really change the situation up here we're just gonna let them construct uh, but what i do want to do because i'll end up forgetting is get the convoys going down here at the bottom uh, so we'll actually start constructing those once we knock out these ships. They got a lot of stuff they're working on it. It kind of sucks they're all early submarines too. Uh, not really anything we can do about it though. All right, so let's go ahead and trade for rubber. That's what we need. And that's the main reason why I'm going after the, the Dutch early on here is so we can get the Dutch East Indies. So we can get that oil and that rubber, those goodies over there. All right, so I want to say that's it. Oh, nope, one more thing. We got to train up troops. Of course, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go and put reinforcements on high priority and lower the equipment priority for all of our training divisions. And I guess we can set locations up too. I'll just have them deploy in Berlin. And let's do, we have like no spare equipment at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's do uh, five uh, infantry divisions. We're just gonna do some light tanks as well. We'll do like five of these. Get them set up too. We won't get a training army or anything like that set up at the moment. Uh, one thing about Germany is that all their troops do start out uh, trained. Let's go and do some motorized as well. We'll do like three of these guys. And mountain troops. Yeah, we want like, we'll get two of those. And I did forget to set these guys up to go to Berlin. And then the last, you know, we won't do CAV just yet. I'm eventually gonna do them. Uh, for those of you who don't, don't know, I use the cavalry for my garrison troops uh, for suppression, because they do, are better at suppression. Uh, so that's what I use them for. Everybody already always asks, like, why are you even keeping the, 
uh, cavalry divisions around. That's why. Uh, we do have some ships we need to move over here as well, and I think I already got those guys set up. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Uh, so we'll just have all our ships deployed there. And that looks pretty solid. I think we're ready to start. Yeah. I don't think I forgot anything. I think we're good to go. Oh, yes. I did forget something. Figures. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of all of our planes as well. We'll set these up later. All right. So let's just delete all these. And they're weird numbers. We'll set up our own, our own air wings. Uh, so I think it's 50. Let me make sure, though, uh, before I go saying it is and then I end up being wrong. Yeah, it's 50. All right, so we need to wait until we get 50 political power so we can start trying to get that claim against them. That'll be the first thing that we do with our political power. And uh, and yeah, let's take a look at what everybody's doing national focus-wise while we wait. Going steady as she goes in Britain. Uh, Air focus in France. Uh, Italy is working on Ethiopian war logistics. Uh, the Czechs are fortification studies, Western focus, uh, institute and royal dictatorship here in Romania. Uh, the Soviet Union is doing the Great Purge. And the United States is doing War Department. Oh, we already looked at the Soviet Union, Japan, strengthening civilian government. So they're going down their democratic route. Uh, China's unifying industrial plan. Now we might be able to get Ch China into our faction. That's not impossible uh, that we get them in. So take a look here. We haven't looked at the Dutch yet. I guess that'd be interesting to see what they're doing. Obtaining foreign colonial investments. Okay, we actually have a de decision available. I think that has to do with the Dutch. Yeah, increasing the trade with them. There's no point on putting political power into that, of course. Uh, considering. Uh, so let's do... Oh, we have the political power that we need. Damn it. Ah, wasting time here, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the... Uh, where is it? Justify work. Get this started. There we go. So 50 political power. It's going to be 250 days. Uh, we will get it on the 6th of November. And, and as soon as we get it, we're going to be declaring war. Try and get that started uh, before the situation changes too much with world tension. Uh, so we've got that going. What, what increased world tension? Was that us doing the Rhineland? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, no, huh. Interesting. Oh, did you just find the Wurgle? Yeah, of course. Of course. All right. So... I don't know how much we'll get to participate in the Spanish Civil War this time, but with Spain probably not joining our faction, it's really not that big of a deal uh, if we can't really help that much. Uh, we'll help if we can, though, I suppose. I guess I'd rather have the fascists win uh, than the Republicans. Uh, so we did get our Rhineland finished up. Let's go ahead and get the next one, which, as I was saying, I, I think we might end up befriending China eventually, uh, but that's not going to be my focus right now. Uh, so we can't do do this one yet we still have, need to get a bit more troops out there uh, so instead let's go and do the four-year plan I like getting this one early on it does get those research bonuses for industry uh, we can go and modify our government uh, and we're gonna be doing what we always do first we're gonna be getting a silent workhorse to get that political power gain uh, nice thing about Germany is they actually have two silent workhorses Rudolf Hess and Martin Bormann let's go with Rudolf Hess uh, while Martin Bormann was always more of a I don't know, I guess a more useful person in real life, a uh, more ambitious person. Rudolf Hess worships the ground that we walk on, so we will pick him. He's a loyal follower, uh, so we're going to reward him by putting him into our government here. Uh, so we've got the political power gaining a little bit quicker now uh, so that we can try and get those filled out as, as quickly as we can. And we did get those submarines done. Excellent. we got four of them completed. Let's go and move them over here now. And we've gotten the electri electrical mechanical engineering, electronic mechanical engineering, excuse me. Uh, let's go with the mechanical computing now. Those nice research bonuses. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we got those two divisions sitting here waiting to, to help out in the Spanish Civil War. But, yeah, that still hasn't happened yet. So, uh, it, it, I know that typically uh, it... It used to happen in 1937 all the time, but now it seems like it always happens in like March or April of uh, 36. It's always really early. Uh, what is this that we're being notified of? Oh, yes, I never did uh, say I'm not interested in these promises of peace, anti-democratic raids, or anti-communist raids. Uh, and uh, it, there it goes. <laughs> That's what I was saying. It's like always in March and April. Uh, so it has happened. Uh, we've already set up our, our guys here. Uh, let's go ahead and, and get a, a field. Well, you got to get a different field marshal, don't you? Well, let's go ahead and do this anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set up uh, a field marshal here uh, so that I know which one I want to be assigned to this front, which I think we're going to do Gunther. Yeah, let's do Gunther here. I think that'd be the best option. Is it nice attack? 
uh, and it's better than having the old guard and defensive doctrine because remember we can select our own here uh, so we're going to do that now and give him the charismatic give him charismatic we do have the ability to assign uh two more actually so let's go ahead and give one to manstein i want to say he had yeah we were going to do the fortress buster here i don't know if they'll build their fortifications up by the time we go uh they're doing western possessions now i guess we'll see uh so one more that's right we need to go ahead and give this guy a commander as well for our uh, uh, volunteers let's do rommel and we'll sign rommel here and we won't be able to give him any traits he doesn't have anything available and let's just go ahead and send him over here now to the nationalists all right uh send volunteers yeah two is the limit and you know what? i should have also have sent them planes yeah i suppose we'll do that we'll contact them again and send them planes uh, I, I want to say I won't be able to do that until, yeah, until, it's not that long. I'm going to have to re-click on this. Huh. Okay. With us having a shortage of divisions, it might not let me. Maybe when they pop back on the map, then it'll allow me to, uh, to do it. Uh, they get there on the 20th of April. All right, and we'll try and help out here. It doesn't look like they're going to need our help. They're doing pretty well uh, as of right now. And, and frankly, with them not uh, joining our faction, uh, helping them is probably not even a good idea. Because, uh, frankly, we don't really need to strengthen the Italian faction. Uh, let's send them air volunteers. That's what I've been wanting to do here. So we'll go ahead and do that so that we can send some, some planes to help out. Uh, let's uh, wrap this up first, I suppose, since we're already over here. So let's go ahead and move these guys over here and see if we can't get behind them. I don't know if there's anybody there or not. Uh, so, yeah, let's get them going there. In fact, let's send the tanks over this way. Uh, so we can attack from two different directions to try and grab that port. Let me cut those divisions off. And we're just going to slow this down just a little bit. And we should probably go ahead and sign those planes as well. Uh, though we do need to build them over here, don't we? All right, so how many can I send? I don't know if it showed me that. We'll be able to see until a little while. That's okay. All right, so they did approve it, of course. I gotta see how many planes I can assign though. Uh, so we'll bring uh, these two troops up here, try and get this area wrapped up here. Uh, and there we go, we should be able to take a look at it. Uh, we can send, I wanna say it tells you here somewhere. Maybe not, maybe you gotta do it through the, hmm, through the air base here. All right, we can send 191. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and set these, these air wings up. And we'll send them a bit of assistance. Let's do, no, we do not have any good fighters, huh? All right, well, that's a shame. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll send what we have here. And let's do, you know, let me redo this. We'll just let them upgrade themselves. We'll do like 100, 100 fighters and then like 50 uh, close air support is the way we'll do it. Probably the best way. Uh, we don't have to send the exact amount. It's fine. I like these, these, these numbers, these nice even numbers here. All right, so let's go ahead and set them up, have them move over to here, right there. Uh, and can they not? Yeah, they can deploy first, my bad. We need to get them deployed, then we'll send them on over here. I guess we'll go ahead and take a look and see how our troops are doing and getting over there. Yes, it does look like it's wide open. Uh, we are defending here. Let's go and make sure we retreat over that way. Uh, and should have our planes there momentarily, I think. Actually, they might actually be there. Excellent. Let's go ahead and move them over here. Why are they not moving? There we go. Uh, and then let's sign them here. Do air superiority and close air support. And we'll do the more ground crews as well. All right, excellent. We get our planes over there. They'll start helping us out. We'll get ourselves a little bit of, and we're gonna send both of these guys over this way. Get ourselves a little bit of air experience in addition to the army experience. In fact, we can actually make an adjustment to our troops now. So let's go ahead and do it uh, so that we can, we can try and get them training. Uh, and we'll go ahead and give them some artillery. Not that five experience that we got from that national focus. So could go ahead and deploy the tanks now since they're not even training. Yeah, might as well. And then we'll go ahead and create the training army too. That'd be another advantage to it. Uh, so let's get these guys going into a little special training army up here. I'm gonna place these guys here. And I didn't give a field marshal here, so let's go ahead and do that. And we will do... Let's do uh, Runstead, and let's create a little training army here, guys. Green peasants. 
as always, guys. Let's go and set them up to start exercising, and we also need to give them a garrison area here. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and have everybody set up to go to that training army. All of our troops. So I don't have to micro this anymore. All right, excellent. Uh, and should have those those infantry done soon. Uh, do we have any openings on this front? No, we don't. We got exactly 24 divisions. Excellent. And that does start in November. If you're curious. You can improve the worker conditions here uh, to bump up the stability a bit. But I feel like stability is in a good place. We need to get that war support up to, to 50%. Uh, there's an adjustment I want to make that we can't do until we get that there. Uh, so we should be able to wrap these guys up fairly easily now. Let's go ahead and send the tanks now. Uh, these guys will finish moving here and then we're going to have them attack that way. Get those troops wrapped up. Get ourselves a little bit of experience here. Uh, yeah, uh, should be able to, to get ourselves a, a bit of experience from this conflict. And, and we're really just we're strengthening our, our potential enemies here in the future. We already know that uh, these guys are, are most likely going to join the Italians. Because I want to say the Italians do have a, a focus that leads them to do that. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, United Kingdom dominates Dutch trade negotiations. Of course they do, but I don't care. And I do not care at all. All right, so let's go ahead and have... And these guys are... Come on. Oh, they're still moving. All right, uh, so let's have them... They're being attacked. That's why they can't. All right, I didn't realize they're attacking us as well as being defended, uh, defending right now. All right, so we did finish up the research for the basic machine tools and for the support weapons. Let's just go ahead and actually zoom out a bit here. All right, so let's do, I guess we're going to continue down the industrial text, though we are almost done here. Uh, so that would give us the, the bonus immediately. And, and I don't know if we'd be able to apply that. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to apply that until 1937. That's fine. This is, it's one tech. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the concentrated industry here. I don't, I don't want to wait to get it. Uh, and what else should we get here? I guess probably radio, right? Yeah, radio would probably be our best bet to get early on here. Yeah, I think we'll probably go after the radios, though we do need more support companies too. Something to think about as well. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the, the field hospitals. And then we'll get radios next. All right, let's go ahead and continue our war against the Spanish, helping them out, helping this, you know, these potential enemies out. Uh, like I said, I, I really think that they do end up joining the Italian faction. That was kind of the goal. Uh, so that, you know, the Italian faction won't be entirely weak. They'll have uh, Spain, they'll have Bulgaria. I don't know if Romania will join our faction, but if they did, then, you know, there would be a little bit of conflict here, but I think Romania would probably conquer Bulgaria uh, easily, and then they'll have the Hungarian assistance as well, so that's something to consider, uh, too. Uh, so it looks like some of our infantry did complete their training. Okay, excellent. And let's go ahead and launch this attack here. Try and get these guys wrapped up. Uh, next, we'll probably send them after Madrid. And sorry about the loud vehicles going by. I am recording on Saturday, uh, so I was hoping that there wouldn't be as many people driving around. It is in the evening, though, so uh, around this time, a lot of people, you know, going out to get dinner and stuff, I guess. All right, so we have knocked out the four-year plan. Excellent. That gives us, uh, you know, the new political advisor, which we'll probably end up getting him. I'd assume we'd get him. Uh, and then uh, the research point is for industry. All right, uh, do we want to go... Any further down here, and we yeah, we can't get that just yet. We don't need to befriend China this early on. Not going to do the anti common term pact uh, early. Let's go after Autarki, uh, Autarki first, uh, so we can get those that nice uh, bonuses towards the military, civilian, and dockyard construction speed. Uh, we won't use those research bonuses immediately, uh, but that's okay. So, when are we going to go here next? Can we go with war economy? No, war support's not quite there yet. And we're just short of it, unfortunately. All right, uh, I don't, I don't really want to wait. We'll just, we'll just have to. What can we get here? Oh, we can get the captain of industry. I was about to say we don't have 150 political power, uh, but it looks like yeah, we have the the captain of the industry available. And yeah, you know what? We're building civilian factories, and I was probably gonna go with him anyways, because uh, I don't think there's anybody else that I could see going for after we get you know the war industrialist. Yeah, I don't. I'm not gonna go with another silent workhorse. I don't think. No, I think I think that's that's exactly what we we'll do. He's cheap, and uh, he gives us the bonus for the civilian factories, which is what we're constructing right now. So it'll be helpful. All right. Uh, so we're trying to wrap this up here. Uh, and when do we get this in November? I want to say it's November, November six. Okay. Uh, so hopefully we should get that completed soon. Uh, let me just take a look and see how we're doing on production. Seeing how everything's looking here. 
we'll keep going towards support equipment for a little while longer because we still got to add all those support, uh, you know, support companies into our to our divisions. Uh, we're slowly getting these ships built. Uh, did we set it to one? Yeah, all of them are set. You know what? They were not probably not all set to one. Damn it! Ah, fuck! I didn't realize that they were building more than one. Shit! Yeah, we just want one of these. Cause I want to say these are all. I don't know if they're older models. I gotta look at them though. Uh, so, yeah, I'd prefer to do this myself. Damn it, I didn't realize that. So we're building a bunch of fucking old ass submarines. That's a shame. All right, well, nothing to be done about it. Let's gonna put these guys over here. And yeah, fleet's looking okay, I suppose. Once again, I don't know how much we'll use the surface fleet. I might wait until after we've gotten, you know, the, the majority of the, oh, we're there, excellent. The majority of the allied fleet destroyed. Uh, once we get the majority of them destroyed with our naval bombers, then we'll be able to send our surface fleet out. I don't know. I, I might try a little bit of surface raiding to see if it's effective, because I haven't actually tried it, you know, when I don't have naval supremacy. I guess in that Dutch series, it did okay, the surface raiders. Uh, better than I was expecting them to do. Uh, you know, the ones over there in the Dutch East Indies that we sent out. Uh, the surface raiders did okay. Uh, they eventually got sunk, of course, by the Japanese Navy, but... I don't know, it'd be interesting to try out. See how they do. Uh, what is this? You mentioned to fit. Oh yes, the uh, bills are due here. Let's take a look. So with with this one, really the decision is: Do you want to spend political power? Um, because you this is going to increase the political power cost even more to continue to get this this bonus here that we get, uh, which you know is it's it's a bonus in the fact that we we can build everything faster, and we require less consumer goods uh, factories, but it does cost us political power. Now, that would be modified, uh, almost doubled, if we continue them. Uh, however, I think we're going to continue them because basically you're giving political power up to be able to build stuff faster, uh, which, you know, I, I, I'm willing to give up political power because Germany already has a lot of political power. Uh, and there's other ways to get rid of this too, other than not selecting it, which then costs political power as well. And, you know, you basically don't have any consumer good. Uh, you don't have any uh, civilian factories for about two months. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, and... Make sure that we, we continue getting that bonus for right now. So we did destroy those guys. Excellent. So now we can go ahead and start moving to the next uh, order here. And I, I do want to go after Madrid. I don't know if we'll be able to get it, though. Yeah, the, damn, the uh, nationalists are having some troubles over here. Uh, so, yeah, I think we will go ahead and, and help them out here. Try and go after Madrid. Uh, that's one quick way to, to get the victory here. So let's go ahead and move these guys. Uh, in fact, we should probably go ahead and move them on the railroads over to, like, right here. We'll get the movement over there. Trying to assist. Uh, and yeah, still got these troops over here training. And there we go. So uh, they look like they're evacuating there. Let's see if we can't get behind these guys. That might be a possibility. Yes, it will. All right, let's go ahead and move there. We'll move these guys over here. Make sure we don't get cut off. And there we go. Excellent. Uh, might be able to go ahead and grab Madrid up. Uh, we'll have to see. I think we'll go ahead and move these guys this way. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and attempt to attack Madrid. But I don't think uh, using the tanks would be the best option. I think we'd better use the infantry. Uh, the organization still needs to get up as well, so we'll go ahead and wait for just a little while. And hopefully these guys hold out here, because we're in uh, a place where we could get cut off right now. Uh, so let's get the organization up. And then we're going to launch the attack with the infantry, because it is a city. And the infantry would perform better in that city. Uh, so we got construction. Excellent. We also have the research bonuses as well. Uh, in fact, I want to say that... Aren't we about to get a research bonus for excavation or do we already have that is this the one that gives this one gives the research bonus for excavation and i would prefer to use uh that bonus for excavation over the bonus towards industry yeah i don't think that that would be a good idea nah uh, we'll, we'll wait to get all these that's that's fine and we're not really hurting on resources at this moment just yet uh so we're working on the uh the field hospitals uh so i said that there's something i was going to get but now i don't remember what it was uh, was it land doctrines? It might have been. Might have been land doctrines. Uh, what the hell was it I said I was going to get next? Uh, something. Oh, yes, that's right. Radio. Yeah, we'll go and get radio. I remembered. All right, so let's just get our organization up and we'll attack Madrid. And it looks like they have another division there, so we got to wait till they leave anyway. Oh, all right, so they're all coming up to the front. They're getting all behind us back here, but that's okay. Not too worried about it. Uh, and yeah, we can't really do shit right now. All right, maybe we should. No, no, we don't want to do that. All right, so Italy just defeated Ethiopia. Took them about uh, five and a half months or so. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing right now. Yeah, I'm just kind of stuck because I'm waiting for them to leave here, but they're not leaving. Uh, we could cut these guys off, so let's go ahead and do that then. Oh, damn it. All right, that didn't work. Could probably defeat those guys. You know what? And I, think, I guess that's what we'll do. Uh, is this... Uh, yeah, it's planes. Let's go ahead and attack here. 
get them defeated. We'll cut off these divisions, get them destroyed. Then we'll go after Madrid. That is three divisions that we can wipe out. Uh, so it'll be helpful. I would assume that the Russians are helping right now. Although I'm not seeing them at the moment. Oh, they're there. Yep, so we do have the Russians here. Uh, we did finish this up, so let's go ahead and have these guys attack. Well, I prefer to use the infantry. I guess we can attack. It's fine. We'll go ahead and use them. Launch that attack. Try and get these guys destroyed here. And hopefully should get that claim against the Dutch soon so we can hurry up and get this knocked out because uh, world tension is at 15%. Uh, so we can now send these guys in. And then what we're going to do is pull this back and then just support it. And yeah, we wouldn't be able to attack Madrid anyway. There's too many divisions bouncing around here right now. Uh, so getting these guys wiped out I think will be helpful. All right, we could probably put this up to speed five, frankly, uh, while we're messing around here in Spain. I thought this was going to be a little bit more. Well, I guess I'm going to miss stuff like this. I'm not paying attention. Uh, so let's go ahead and modify our government. Uh, do we want to go ahead and go after the, the next uh, political advisor? You know what? We probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, I think we should... We're still not at 50% war support, unfortunately, so we can't change the mobilization just yet. All right, well, we won't be needing new tanks until 1939, though... We don't have the self-propelled models yet, uh, so could use that, I suppose. Uh, planes and ships won't be till 1940, because I think we have all the latest designs right now. Uh, so, you know what, let's go ahead and go after the industrial concern, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's in 1937 we could use this. Though, are we going to start working on military factories soon? Probably not. No, not yet. Yeah, I don't think that's what we're going to want. Let's do it to go ahead and go after the industrial concern. I think that would be the best option for us at the moment. Get that 15% research bonus. Alright. So should go ahead and get these guys wiped out soon. Uh, that last division. I'll probably help them out. They might be able to do it on their own, actually. Now, they now have four divisions in Madrid, unfortunately. Damn, that's a shame. Alright, yeah, we'll go ahead and help them out here. Get that last division wiped out. That'll kind of uh, clear up some, some troops here. Uh, they did take that back, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. We're going to try and come over... I might try and go this way, actually. Uh, in fact, we could even move. There's not really any reason to have these tanks over here any longer. And then we're going to have these guys go over there. It doesn't look like there's anybody over there right now. Uh, and yeah, they can pull those divisions off from Madrid if they want. That's fine. We got uh, three divisions wiped out. So we're being very useful engines. Uh, so we've almost got these troops finished up training here. Uh, let's go ahead and attack these guys here. We might be able to get to Madrid from the back. In fact, we'll probably need to give them a bit more assistance here. I don't know if they can do it on their own. Certainly not uh, in a quick manner. See if we can't get behind these guys and get Madrid. There's probably nobody even there defending Madrid right now. They're up here on the front. And we did get a dockyard freed up. Excellent. Uh, so that means we're really starting to get these completed. Okay. So what we want to go ahead and do with this dockyard is we need to start working on the convoys. Because uh, our convoy numbers are garbage at the moment. Uh, so let's go and take these submarines here, bring them over that way. In fact, we should be training up all our ships. I was thinking about fuel, but yeah, we, we should be training all these ships up. I didn't really consider that. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, we're just going to put them all into... I don't see any reason not to just put them all into one uh, fleet right now. Uh, in fact, we'll just put them all into... Yeah, let's just put them all into one task force as well. Uh, and yeah, let's just go and get these guys training. I should have been doing this already. My bad, guys. Uh, naval exercises. Alright, so we're going to get all those guys training up. Start getting ourselves, although... I don't know how that'll impact us for fuel, but let's just train them anyways. We'll see how, how it looks, how the fuel supplies look uh, at the moment. All right, I'm gonna get these guys going over here, have them assist there, and oh, damn it, they retreated to Madrid. Let's see if we can attack Madrid. Looks like it's not gonna go as well as one would hope, uh, but it is green. All right, there we go. Uh, so let's go ahead and pull this back then and send the infantry in instead. They'll perform much better, and then we'll just support with these guys. And then we'll have them go over this way to try and get across that river as quickly as they can. Uh, we did knock out the uh, Autarky uh, National Focus. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of left with an interesting choice here. Yeah, because we still can't do that one just yet. Uh, so we're, we're left with an inter interesting choice. We can go down this route, which, you know, we don't really need the infrastructure construction speed. Uh, but that would allow us to align Romania and, and Hungary quicker. Make sure that they end up in our faction. Uh, you know, improve their you know, opinion of us and get them fascist. Uh, make sure they, they have strong fascist support, uh, which I definitely would like to do. I want to say that you only need one of them to be able to go down the integrate war economies. 
Uh, however, we really do need a beeline towards the extra research slot as well, so we'll probably do that. We only need one of these, uh, one of these two, so which route do we want to go down? This is civilian factories. A lot of civilian factories. Oh wow, yeah, that's nice. Uh, so I think that's the route we'll end up going. Yeah, I think that's the best one for right now. So let's go down the civilian factory route. Hopefully we don't have a trouble, uh, any trouble with rubber. That's, that's the plan anyway. Uh, leadership purges in the Soviet Union. I guess we can kind of dip around, take a look, see what everybody's doing. Air Doctrine's here, reinforcing the Empire, extra research slot. Uh, expanding mining industry. And Czechoslovakia's internal redoubts. Uh, NKVD, primacy. Financial policy, purge the militarists. And yeah, they already got democratic support up by 14%. The United States is doing the Air Wars Plans Division. Uh, we won't look at all the, uh, all the British colonies for right now. What I do want to take a look at that, though, is how much support the Hungarians and the Romanians have for fashion. 36% here and only 18% here. So, yeah, it makes me want to go down that route. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine, guys. We'll get the uh, we'll get the research slot first. Kind of beeline towards that. All right. So Madrid is now in our hands. Uh, it's not going to be enough. Obviously, we need to take a bit more over. Uh, we'll go ahead and secure it, though. Make sure that we are able to hold Madrid. Let's go ahead and try and get across this river here if we can. We we'll, might be able to get Toledo, actually. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully, they don't cut us off here. Uh, it's a real possibility if they take Madrid. Uh, yeah, let's get Toledo because that's important. And then I'll see if I can't attack right here. I don't want to attack right there. There's too many divisions there. There's one Spanish division here protecting Madrid, though, so... Hopefully you should have this front secured. It's kind of unfortunate we were only able to send two divisions. If we had, if it had started a little bit later, we had sent our volunteers a bit later, uh, then we might have, uh, and where the hell are my planes? Where are the damn planes that I sent? No, I sent them, didn't I? Where the hell are they at? Oh, they're over here. Did they lose it for a minute or something? Why are we over the limit? It's 150 planes, it's weird. Okay, it's fine. Hey, I don't know why they were over there. I'm, I'm gonna guess they, they must have lost the airbase there for a second. Oh, they're about to lose it again, actually. Okay, uh, I see what's going on. Well, let's move over here because we now have that uh, airbase. All right, so we don't have to worry about it any longer. All right, so they're going after Toledo. We're not gonna allow them to, to take it, though. If they took Toledo, hmm, yeah, we'd have to attack across the river here. All right, so that's the best way to go then. Let's go ahead and assist them, try and get these troops here cut off. Uh, we'll have to go here. I'm going to see if I can't beat them. Uh, they're going to be there in nine hours, so that's a uh, no, unfortunately. Damn it. So close, guys. All right, well, that, that's fine. We still cut them off here. Uh, yeah, I think we, we still cut them off. Uh, so let's just go ahead and have them support that attack then. So we can get these guys cut off and make sure they don't take Madrid as well. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty secure as far as our front. They're not, they're not going to be able to uh, cut us off or anything. Uh, are these guys done? They are done. Excellent. So let's go ahead and take them. And do we want to put them on this front here? Uh, you know what? We actually do need to train all these troops here. Uh, so let's go and throw them into just their own little army for right now and get them training up. And we'll just take these these ones here and then put them on the Polish front, I guess. We'll create a new front here. Put them on it. And we'll even give them a planning bonus, I suppose. All right. Excellent. So we'll get those guys moving over there. Let me get these guys over here training up. We do have a bit of experience, so we could always make another adjustment to our divisions, and I think that's exactly what we're going to do. I want to go ahead and get them some uh, artillery. Uh, another another uh, thing of artillery. We're just going to have 20 width divisions for right now. We'll work on getting something else a little bit later. Uh, so let's go ahead and get those. Though if we waited one more, we could, you know, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll wait one more for one more experience so we can go ahead and get the uh, field hospital. Oh, never mind. That's 64 days. Never mind. I didn't realize that we were that far away from getting it. Yeah, that is way further than I was expecting. All right, so let's just going to remove them and then get the artillery in here. Uh, and, oh, we need to remove two. All right, so this works here. Um, but before we make any further adjustments to them, like next time we get a big experience, when we try and pull this in infantry division out to get them to 20 combat with, what we need to do is create a duplicate, you know, as like a little uh, placeholder for when we do our 40 width uh, divisions. Uh, so we don't lose that, that five experience trying to, you know, add another infantry uh, battalion here so yeah we have to remember to do that you know i'm not i'm gonna forget guys <laughs> so yeah, i guess it would be best to wait though if we can get the uh one guys in there the uh field hospitals all right uh so we're going to deploy these uh and do we want to go ahead and build yeah let's go ahead and, and, and build some more and some more of these guys and then let's just deploy these guys since they're waiting on something 
or wait, not motorized equipment. Okay, uh, so let's go and get those guys deployed, and I guess we'll go and do more infantry uh, divisions as well. And this time, hopefully, I don't forget to, to build them out before they finish. We'll do five more, uh, and go ahead and get them going to that training army over here, since we have to redo all this. All right, excellent. Okay, so what we want to go and do is take a look at our equipment situation, see how things are going. I know we're starting to get the motorized uh, going. Uh, let's actually let's take a look at the logistics and see what we're good on. We're, we're doing all right on on support equipment. We will need to make a bunch of adjustments for that. So once again, I don't think we should pull too much from them, but let's pull one factory uh, from there so we start getting some of this other stuff uh, built up here. All right, excellent. Uh, so. Yeah, they did take Toledo again, but once it, it's irrelevant once we take this, though they did move door divisions over there, so that's become a little bit more challenging now trying to take that, and hopefully they don't get Madrid with this back division here, or take that air base, because then we have to move our planes again. Right. It's just AI, man. Like, come on. <laughs> Help out over here. Uh, it does look like we're, we're our side is winning, though. Uh, so that's good. Uh, did we have any other further adjustments we need to make with our, our divisions? Or, or, excuse me, with our leaders? I don't remember if I actually completed uh, completed this, finished them. All right, so that guy doesn't have one. Rommel did, yeah, that's right, but it was only Gorilla Fighter. Okay, so we don't need to use that for anything. Just want to make sure we weren't, you know, missing an opportunity to change up our divisions. All right, so we did win here. Excellent. Let's go and get these guys destroyed now. Push back, try and take Toledo here. Uh, and then these guys will probably just hold this, this uh, place until we get these guys defeated here. Push them back from Toledo. Uh, I do want to try and get that... Uh, that uh, province right there, though these guys are actually about to be cut off. Uh, oh, we gotta destroy these guys too. All right, so we'll wipe these guys out here and uh, just slowly get this done. All right, we're getting a little bit of army experience from it overall, though, it's, so it's a useful, a useful endeavor, I'd say. The air experience is really helpful too. We'll have to get the air wing over here soon, uh, but I would prefer to pull these guys since we know that once we go to war, yeah, I'll probably just pull pull these planes here so that we can use you know, you know more experienced uh, air wings in the war against the Dutch not that it's necessary of course but it's irrelevant keeping them over here anyway because once we go to war then uh, we won't be able to keep having volunteers there all right so let's go and go across Madrid with these guys and then these guys here are gonna go all the way across get them destroyed all right I don't know how much longer I'd love to have been able to complete it uh, and we're almost there, 76%. I guess we don't have to declare war exactly in November if, we, if we're really close, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what, let's go and take these guys and have them go over this way now. And then these guys, let's have them destroy them since it's a little bit easier. Uh, but yeah, this is five divisions cut off and prepared to be destroyed. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty much a wrap now. We'll probably help out down here or Valencia would be a key point we'd probably really want to take as well. Yeah, I want to say, oh, Barcelona is worth a lot. It's 15. What's Valencia worth? Five, yeah. Yeah, let's go out to Barcelona. That'd be the best way to get victory right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and they're, they're not cut off because, you know, they have the port. But let's go and help out over here. Get our troops going over there. Try and uh, assist them. In fact, you know what? Oh, damn it. We hit the railroads. Or we didn't. I was going to say we we're going to hit the railroads. We got attacked here. All right, so what we're going to do is let's have these guys take the railroads over to right there through the back here uh, and then these guys I suppose they can continue defending here because that division's about to get cut off if, if we don't help them so we'll assist them uh, and then these guys are done uh, I think because we actually are about to make another adjustment aren't we yeah yeah we're about to make another adjustment so uh, instead of, of pulling them out what we'll do is go ahead and uh, Let's make that adjustment first. Uh, so we are going to duplicate this, as I said, for our 40 army with divisions. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, as always, uh, if you guys want to propose names for our divisions, uh, then go ahead and put those down in the comments below and I'll pick the best names and, and we'll, uh, are the ones I like the most. Remember, I go for uh, clever names, uh, the names that sound clever to me, a uh, nice play on words or whatever, or that uh, or historical based names, uh, names that, you know, just really fitting. Sometimes you go for silly names, though, so you can still propose silly names if you want. Uh, but the best names are going to win here. We need a name for our 20 width infantry division. We need a name for our 40 width infantry division, uh, for our light tanks, our motorized, our alpine, and our cavalry. Uh, so propose those names down in the comments below, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get these guys' names soon. It probably won't be till I'm going to give you guys a bit of time 
on a proposed name, so it probably won't be till episode three or four. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and duplicate this and create a, a new division design here. And let's save that uh, so that we have uh, have this for our 40 wis. Uh, so we'll keep them down there, and then let's go ahead and get uh, these guys edited and pull that infantry division out, or infantry battalion, excuse me, uh, so that we'll get them up to 20 with. All right, lovely. Uh, that actually won't require them to train anymore since we pulled from them. All right, I wasn't thinking about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and put these guys into here. Uh, and I did something. Oh, okay, that's fine. All right, I thought I messed something up. I don't know why we have the Alpine troops over here. Probably shouldn't have them here. I don't think they're going to be all that useful in that location. Let's instead move them over to here. And then we'll just move one of the divisions from here right. over to there. All right, excellent. Uh, so these guys are, it looks like they're good on their training. These ones, however, are not. So let's go ahead and have them. Hmm. This is what we'll do. Put that guy in his own little army for right now and then have these ones exercise. Shouldn't take them very long to get their experience up. Well, we'll all keep right, their experience awesome. as high as we can. All right, so finally done with all that BS. All right, so these guys are ready to, to help out here. Uh, they did get here on the railroads pretty quick. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap these troops up here so that these, uh, oh man, maybe I should go here first. Yeah, because it does look like they're about to have some problems here, uh, like they might lose there. So we'll defend that province first. Uh, we're still waiting for tanks to get over here. We're able to effectively defend that division. You're welcome. And then we'll have these guys go here instead. And then we're going to try and wipe out those three divisions. And then we'll go after Barcelona. Have these guys here attack. And then we'll just support. I don't know that we'll be able to win there just yet. But not without the, the uh, tank support. Let's wipe these guys out. So these uh, Spanish divisions can kind of move around and, and help out over here. That's another division might be helpful to wipe them out. But they might be able to take care of it on their own. I guess we'll see. Uh, not a lot of time left, guys, uh, before we get our claim. Uh, so we need to stop exercising, stop it, and put these guys back on here. All right, excellent. Uh, so this this army is fully ready. They have all of their manpower, I believe. Yeah, they got all their manpower. So this they'll, they'll be fully trained, and we're not making any more adjustments until we get uh, the field hospitals, which will be in 26 days. So we might have to train them further before the war. Uh, yeah, it won't be till. Till November, sometime in November there. But I do want to, like I said, I want to get it er uh, started as early as possible. I think that would be a, a good idea. Uh, so I don't think we'll we'll get engaged in the naval actions uh, against the the Dutch. Yeah, I don't see myself. I mean, it could be pretty helpful. Maybe we will. How many ships do the Dutch have? I don't remember. I should remember. We just freaking played as them. They're doing the Crown Jewel Colony, by the way. Uh, that's the route they they're going. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at how many ships they have. Uh, about about 30 something ships. You know, I, I don't know if it'd be worth it to to sacrifice our ships against them just to try and get some bombardment bonuses. Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll we'll use our ships against them. Perhaps uh, we should be able to win with the naval bomber support uh, against their fleet. Get us a bit of experience. Get some of our ships some experience. Yeah, I think we will, guys. So we'll have to plan for that, uh, that we're going to use the ships. All right, so let's go and attack Barcelona. Oh. And we would not win. Okay. Uh, well, it's ticking in our favor. There we go. Uh, we didn't have full organization for those infantry divisions, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens here. Looks like it is going to go in our favor. All right, excellent. So we're going to grab Barcelona. And it seems that we're still producing outdated equipment. Is that still ships? Yeah, it's still ships we're trying to get completed. A couple more destroyers that we want to get done. Did we finish any ships over here that need to get added to our fleet? Nope, seems to be good. Could set up all those uh, those ships that are being built to, to go straight to the training fleet, but I'm not going to do that. So it's a bummer that they actually pushed them over here first uh, back into this port. That's, that's a shame because if we had one here first, then we could have got those guys destroyed. But now they might be sailing out over here. I don't know. I uh, did get concentrated industry. Excellent. Uh, so, man, I don't know. I don't think I want to go for that because remember we got that national focus that gave the, the bonus for the excavation. I don't know that it actually will take it from the excavation bonus because we also have the industrial bonus. Uh, and I don't want that to go towards the, the industrial bonus to go towards this. So I might just go ahead and do the wait until we do the 1937 tech. And I think that would actually be our, in our best interest. Uh, to make sure that we don't waste a, a research bonus. It's fine. Like I said, a resource isn't really a problem at this moment. So 
We're all right, just trying to be efficient, guys. Uh, trying to be as efficient as we can. I think we'll probably go down the land auctions next. Could get the anti-tanks as well, that'd be helpful to have. Uh, I, I don't actually know how much we'll be using anti-tanks now that I think about it. Yeah, we might use them. Uh, so, probably should get those then. Uh, so we can start constructing them. Oh, Lord. Nope, I know what I want. But we don't have the, the bonus for that just yet, and we're about to get it. Okay, we will wait then. We will wait, guys. So we won't get the, uh, you know, the uh, self-propelled artillery just yet. I think we're gonna go after, you know what, we can go after the artillery bonus. We got a ton of artillery in our troops. Let's do that. Yeah, it could also go out the land doctrines. It does take a while, guys. Uh, and then, you know, in addition to taking a while, we're gonna get some, some nice research bonuses for those. So we'll wait. It's fine, we don't need them against the Dutch. We'll be all right. It's only 1936, guys. Uh, not really getting as far as I would have expected in this first episode. And that always happens when you when you get involved in those uh, volunteer actions. Uh, so did complete that. We got a bunch of civilian factories. Excellent. Let's go and get some more civilian factories. And this will allow us to build a hell of a lot more as well. Uh, and we currently have a good chunk of civilian factories now uh, from that. And we're getting a bunch more. So I think it's about time to go ahead and start working on a bit of military factories then in that case. Yeah, let's do some more military factories. We can kind of start building up our equipment numbers because they're not quite where we want them. So let's go ahead and build in these areas here. Oh, we'll get another one right there as well. Let's just get five military factories, I suppose. Yeah, let's do five. We'll do one right here. There we go. All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll get five military factories. Maybe then we'll go back to civilian for a little, little while because I'm not quite where I want to be at with the civilian factories. Yeah, and we could definitely be in a better spot there. All right. So Barcelona is in our hands. Is that the end of the war? It looks like, oh, so damn close, man. They're at 99%, shit. All right, I guess we'll go after Valencia next. Yeah, Valencia would be, definitely get us to the win. So let's go to move these guys over here. It's kind of a shame we gotta do it this way. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys take the railroads over to there, I suppose. And nope, oh, never mind. there we go. It is over, fantastic. All right, so we did help. Uh, Spain out, uh, help the nationalists out. Once again, they'll probably end up being an enemy in the future, but we got a bit of army experience from it. We got two of our divisions some experience, so that's helpful. Our planes will get sent back as well, uh, and then they'll, uh, I don't know actually where they're flying at this moment. Hopefully they come back. Hmm. And not just get put back in our stockpile. I'd imagine, there they are. All right, excellent, that worked out well. So we can go ahead and move the planes over to here then. Uh, let's put them, let's put them right. Here. And then we're gonna go and increase their numbers up a bit. Uh, let's give, uh, let me take a look at the stockpiles real quick. I don't actually know how we're doing on planes. So we have about 200 more fighters we could pull over here. We do have about a little bit more closed air support. Uh, it's not a lot. Oops, and we're gonna have to do it from here. So let's go ahead and tick up the closed air support by 50 and the fighters by 100. That'll kind of take from their experience a little bit, but at least they're not, you know, completely green. Uh, so there's that advantage from the war. You know, our planes are going to perform a little bit better. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough of the, the modern planes uh, to fully staff that that air wing. Uh, so we do have uh, the ability to change up our government, and I, I think we're going to go after the tank designer next because yeah, I wanted to get yeah. Let's do tank designer. I know we're now building military factories, so it would be useful to go ahead and go after uh, Funk, the war industrialist. But no. We're gonna do tank designers. And as far as which tank designer we're gonna get, well, I typically go with Porsche, or Porsche, uh, however you wanna pronounce that. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that this time. Uh, I often do that, as you guys know, I'm like, I have an absolute love for speed now. <laughs> so I go for every speed bonus I can get. It's so stupidly powerful when you really think about it, uh, overall speed for your divisions. So yes, I'm definitely going with with the speed, uh, even if uh, it's technically not as good as this one. Uh, if you're wanting to be optimal, as far as like the best tanks, then go with the armor and the heart attack. But that's not what we're doing. We're doing speed, guys, because uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I got a need for speed, I gotta go fast. Uh, so uh, we are pretty much ready for this war. We're gonna be able to knock it out because uh, the Civil War went very, very quick. Uh, so we'll be able to uh, do the war as soon as we get the, the war goal, which is awesome. We got radios, uh, and now that we have the, uh, you know, the, the army, um, the army company, or excuse me, the, the tank company, good God, I uh, can't talk today. Uh, we can go and get this. This is gonna give them that bonus, of course, and we can do it a little bit quicker, 36 days. Uh, so let's go and knock that out. 
and field hospitals we got those as well and mechanical computing all right excellent uh let's do do we want to do we want to get the logistics right now you know what yeah we don't really have the experience for him right now i, I don't think it would be uh worth it going for it we'll go ahead and go after the anti-tanks so that we have them and i can start building them uh, we got the mechanical computing too. All right, so we get to pick two things. I, I completely forgot. I had it sitting right here in front of my face the whole time and still completely forgot that I was going to be able to pick two. So I don't really want to spend the 355 days to get the, the next land doctrine. What we're going to do is we're going to get the smoke generators. I know I eventually want to get these. You can't spend experience to, to speed it up. And this is pretty important for our fleet. Make sure that we can we can retreat quickly. Uh, we're going to need that in the war. And, and we're not going to need it anytime soon, but it'd be good to have. Uh, I, I'd say it'd be good to have. Uh, so... Uh, while we're we're not really having much to, that we can research right now, uh, so let's go and take this fleet now uh, and stop them from from training. We want to make sure that they're able to completely repair any damages that they have uh, before the war starts. We only have a matter of weeks before the war starts, so let's go and stop them from naval exercising here. Uh, have them go over here, and then we'll kind of set them up, uh, set them up in different fleets. There we go, uh, or excuse me, well yeah, it'll be different fleets probably in different task forces as well. Yeah, uh, so let's go and take all of the submarines. Uh, I guess we could just do it. Just select them this way and then do it. Uh, woo! I thought I didn't have anything selected. Create a new fleet. Uh, take all the submarines out, and we'll probably use them out here. Uh, and, and, and you know what? I, I think what I might end up doing here is having just one submarine fleet all out here patrolling. Because, uh, yeah, we're only going to be aware of the Dutch. We'll destroy other convoys. Uh, get a bit of experience. Uh, so let's go and select our, our, our uh, Sea Wolf, uh, which would be Carl Donuts. Um, probably, if I mispronounce any German terms, go ahead and correct me, because uh, yeah, I'm not not great with, with German. Uh, but yeah, he was uh, obviously key uh, admiral when it comes to the uh, submarine game uh, in the war. Uh, so let's go ahead and select him, and we're gonna go ahead and have him do, which one do we wanna do? Probably torpedo screen penetration. I find that super useful. Uh, so let's go and do that. And then that would... Now, of course, you can get the torpedo reveal chance so that you're less likely to be detected and then get the torpedo expert uh, so you can get the uh, torpedo hit chance. Uh, but I, li I like this one because not only can, can we penetrate their screens more effectively, uh, but you get that torpedo cooldown, which means you fire them off more often, uh, a lot more often. Uh, so that's why I'm going this route instead of this one. Honestly, either one of them are, are very much viable options. All right, so let's go and select uh, the Load and Drill Master as well. And then we're going to want to get the uh, the rest of the fleet. Oh, we'll probably just keep them all in one. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to use the... Yeah, we don't want to use the fuel up. We don't have a lot of fuel. So, in fact, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and, and separate the... We'll take the capital ships out. And then we will go ahead and assign all of these fleets over to here as well. We'll move them over there. And we'll do that in a second. Let's first go ahead and take all these, you know, these fuel chugging uh, capital ships out. And then we'll give them a couple uh, light cruisers and stuff as well. And some destroyers uh, to protect them. Oh, how many capital ships do we have? One, two, three, four, five? All right, so we currently have one, two, three, er, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so that's how we'll, we'll assign this. Um, let's just go ahead and create a new fleet here. And uh, it just kind of changes up a little bit. All right, guys, I went ahead and set up the colors and all that kind of stuff and the icons. Uh, but yeah, essentially we have these 15 here. This, this, this well, We can go ahead and move all of these guys over here right now. All right, so uh, these 15 will be the strike force. These will be the patrol, you know, based on the icons, you can see that. And I did decide to split the submarines into two separate. Uh, we'll just have them each patrol their own little area, I suppose. And uh, got our volunteer forces back. Excellent. Uh, and the last thing we're going to be doing in this episode before we end it here is we're just going to get the claim. That's my goal is to get the claim uh, against them uh, so that uh, we at least have it. And we'll be able to declare war in the beginning of next episode which is awesome and we'll get all these guys assigned as well uh, so fuel is not looking in, in a great place we're probably gonna need to start trading for some fuel so we can get these fuel reserves built up a little bit I don't like the way our stockpile is looking so let's go ahead and do that uh, we're gonna trade with the Americans as well for, for any fuel supplies pretty much any excess resources that they have we'll be trading for uh, let's just do I just want to get this built up a little bit and see how this looks how long that's gonna take to get our fuel reserves built back up a little bit more is that what I think we're going to need. Yeah, still not more. You know what? We'll do five. Let's make sure that we have the fuel that we need. 
All right, excellent. So we got the fuel reserves built up because, yeah, the stockpiles were in a garbage place. But, you know, it did allow us to build stuff. And there we go. We now have the claim. And uh, we'll be able to declare war on them this episode. Uh, and, or excuse me, next episode. Uh, and that will... Uh, result in us being able to conquer them and get the Dutch East Indies without the allies joining because they cannot do the guarantees yet because we're doing this early conflict, uh, which is awesome. So we'll get them knocked out and we'll get the Dutch East Indies in our hands. We will have to send troops to the Dutch East Indies, of course, to defend that territory. Uh, I don't know if we'll have the numbers. I suppose let's take a look and see how we're doing on getting troops trained. I guess we can go ahead and deploy since they're not trained in any damn way. Uh, go ahead and deploy those guys, get a few more tanks built out. Uh, though I might be pushing a little bit based on our equipment. Uh, we don't really have a lot of equipment right now. Uh, so yeah, this looks pretty good. I think we got the mountain troops finished up as well. So yeah, we have a lot of troops that are currently training up here. Uh, so yeah, next episode we'll be going to war with the Dutch. You know, I think that this was a productive episode. We built some stuff. We didn't get as far as I, I like. I like trying to get like at least a year done in the first episode. Uh, but, you know, we were doing the volunteers here in Spain, and, and we helped the Nationalists win, our future enemy more than likely. Uh, and yeah, they're giving docking rights to the, to the Italians, so you see they're already uh, having a good relationship there. And, uh, yeah, they have finished up in Africa, so they're taking that focus, and that's just going to be the last thing we're going to do in this episode, is taking a look at everybody's uh, focuses, doing government reform here in France. So they're going to, you know, more than likely go down the support the status quo. I think they only do the revive, uh, revised uh, the Versailles Treaty is if uh, Germany uh, goes a separate route, you know, if they go communist or, you know, return of the Kaiser or something, or democratic, then I think France goes the other route. Uh, limited rearmament here in Britain. Uh, Poland's doing the expansion of new towns. Soviet Union's finishing their five-year plan. Uh, Hungarians are renewing the Rome Protocols. Uh, attracting foreign capital. Uh, trade treaty with Germany. Well, hello there. Yeah, I'll take your trade treaty. Uh, Czechoslovakia, we didn't check them yet. Democratic Bastion. And, yes, the Dutch. I always forget to check them now. And we're about to go to war with them. Continuing the public works here. So they are not prepared. They didn't get nothing done. Yeah, I mean, it's really early. They, did, they didn't have anywhere near enough time to build fortifications and stuff. So this is going to go really, really quickly, guys. They have hardly any divisions. They have eight divisions. Some of those are probably in the Dutch East Indies. I'm seeing, like, five here. Or four can't even account, apparently. We'll easily be able to sweep through there and get them conquered. It's not going to be difficult at all. Uh, and anybody else in Europe to check? I know I'm probably forgetting somebody. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, South Africa's working on an armament effort. United States is doing war plan crimson. Oh, well, would you look at that? Already making preparations uh, for a war against Cam Canada. Okay. Interesting. Uh, probably because they can't go down the reestablishing the gold standard route just yet, so they can go fascist. It's a long route to go fascist, honestly. Uh, so, I, like I said, I really don't expect them to be in the conflict anytime soon. Uh, dollar a year man in Canada. Metsco's working on military budget review. Uh, the uh, Indians are working on screening effort. Australia expanding Lithgo small arms factory. Industrial conscription. And Japan's doing army expansion law. China, three principles of the people. And staff the court. Okay. I want to say I looked at everybody. I'm probably forgetting some. They have so many focuses now. It's hard to get through them all now. Uh, I know I'm probably forgetting somebody. But, but I did not neglect them intentionally. <laughs> so that is going to be the end of this first episode. I always do this extra long episode for the first one. Uh, it's one because I like getting into it and getting some stuff done and two because it helps with the search engine uh, Other things that help with the search engine is any kind of interactions you do with this video So if you liked it, then leave a like on the video uh, Leave a comment. Uh, I love talking to you guys. I do read and reply to all comments uh, Let me know what you're thinking of the fact of, of the uh, campaign uh, Any ideas you have any suggestions always open to hear what you guys have to say and most importantly uh, remember that we're also trying to get names for the divisions here as well so uh, best names win and uh, maybe episode three we'll we'll get the name of a few of those uh, based on your guys' suggestions uh, but yeah all those things those likes those comments uh, those all do help with the search engines this helps with the search engine so i appreciate it also don't forget to share the video with all your friends uh, share it on social media that always helps as well uh, and then uh if you're looking for something else to watch Check out the front page 
of our channel. Uh, we do have everything sorted by genre with Hearts of Iron 4 has its own section because I have so many Hearts of Iron 4 campaigns. I've got like 20 something campaigns. Uh, so maybe go check out one of my old campaigns. Most recent ones that we've done with Man the Guns would be a short mini series with Japan. Uh, and then we did an American campaign, a communist American campaign. And then we played uh, as the Dutch. That was the last one that we did. So maybe go check out one of those. And yeah, hope to see you on the next episode, guys. And uh, thanks for watching.